Well, hello, hello to another video. This time, just um, a short one for now on a little trick for a UV layout method on a special type of geometry. So, I had a project, or I'm still in the project, I have to model like a speaking tree, and I made this model. And in the uh, process of UV layouting, I noticed these are going to be pretty hard to lay out since um, I extruded them and kept working with the mesh, did some um, adjustments to this to the edge flow and stuff. The UVs got uh, got really they got destroyed. I couldn't work with them just from scratch. So what I was doing uh, was pretty silly. I, I just selected a, the whole uh, tube here and then I go to create UVs and did my auto mapping first. Let me pull out my UV editor. there is so then what I did was I selected all edges deselected the rest so that it doesn't connect down here oh, we got this one here too well it doesn't matter just now for showing you how it's uh, how this is not the way to do it so then I just connected it, picked up a, an edge like this one, cut it out again, and then unfolded the UVs. No, it doesn't work very good, maybe because of this little part here being part of the thing. So I'm going to undo all of this. I'm going to show you another much easier way. If you have geometry like this, like this uh, consistent tube like, where it's uh, really just one edge ring after the other, or, or same here on the, on the roots, what we can do is select all faces that goes to uh, with that. So just until here, where the tube finishes. Then in the UV editor, we go to polygons and say unitize. This will grab every single face and make it a an extra shell with the with the points um, with cover C complete zero to one space. So now since everything is still selected, I can convert my transform by holding the control and right click to UV. Let's move it this side a little bit. Here. Now they are also oriented correctly so just by drag selecting over this edge right here it'll go ahead and select all edges there that are coming this way. So now the only thing we need to do is deselect one of these edges where we like our seam to be. So we're gonna pick up this because it's down here no one's gonna see no one's gonna ever see it and now if we connect this see how we get this a uh, lots of stripes now we just need to go and select this edge which now selects all of these could also deselect this so you can see better what I mean and now connect again move into and what we got here is a very clean mesh of this of this thing. We could leave this now just like this. If we have like a pre-made texture for this, like bark texture or something. Or we could just unfold it to match the the size of the polygons a little bit better. But yeah, this is the, the method that I wanted to show you. If you ever had problems doing these kinds of 
models in any case. So I hope this video helps you a little bit and see you in the next one.